Hello grade 10 learners! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So for today's uh, video lesson ay pag-uusapan naman natin yung continuation ng arithmetic sequence which is arithmetic series. So it's about sequence and series pero this time ay arithmetic series. So when we say arithmetic series, it is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence forms an arithmetic series. So, we all know that an arithmetic sequence has common difference. Kumbaga, yung pagitan ng terms in between ay pare-parehas. So, ngayon naman, ay iaad lang natin lahat ng terms. The sum of the first n terms of a sequence called a partial sum is denoted by S sub n. So, we're in, bago tayo nag-come up dito sa dalawang formula na given, ay meron siyang derivation. Pero hindi ko na ipapakita kung paano na-derive yung formula. So, gamitin na lang natin siya sa mga example. We're in, meron tayong dalawang formula for arithmetic series. The first one is F S sub N. So, th this is for arithmetic series equals N sub N over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. If a sub n is given, then s sub n equals to n over 2 times the quantity 2a plus n minus 1d. If a sub n is not given. Okay, so let's have an example. Find the sum of the first 12 terms of an arithmetic sequence, 50, 47, 44, 41, and 38. So instead of adding uh, manually ng lahat ng terms, if we continue the given arithmetic sequence until the 12 terms, then i-add natin siya lahat. Instead of adding that manually, we are going to use the formula. But this time, ang gagamitin natin ay yung pangalawang formula since a sub n or yung last term or yung pang 12th term is not given. Okay? So, let us identify muna yung mga given na isa-substitute natin sa formula. So, we have here our first term. So, our first term is 50 or eto yung ating a. So, we have 50 and how many terms? 12 terms. And then we have D or the common difference. We need to subtract A sub 2 and A sub 1. So 47 minus 50 is negative 3. So meaning, nadadagdagan siya ng negative 3. So that's why yung ating sequence ay decreasing. So 50, naging uh, 47, 44, 41, 38, and so on. So, ngayon, ang gagamitin nating formula ay yung A sub N is not given. So, we're in S sub N equals N over 2 2A plus the quantity N minus 1D. Again, ito yung gagamitin nating formula since A sub N is not given. Then we just substitute all the values. Your N is 12 over 2. Then 2 times A. That is 50. Plus your N is 12 minus 1 times negative 3. And then simplify. 12 divides 2 is 6. So, we have here 2 times 50. We have here 100. Then, plus 12 minus 1 is 11 minus 3. Okay. Next, 6. Then, we have here 100. Then, 11 times negative 3 is negative 33. Then, 6, 100 minus 33, we have 67. 
k again 100 minus 33 is 67 and then our final answer is 6 times 67 is 402. So, eto na yung arithmetic series natin or eto na yung sum kapag pinag-add natin yung labing dalawang terms sa given nating uh, sequence na 50, 47, 44, 41, 38, and so on. Okay. Okay, second example, find the sum of the first 30 natural numbers. So, i-add natin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hanggang 30. So, that will be our first 30 natural numbers. So, this time, ang gagamitin nating formula ay yung arithmetic series wherein A sub N is given. So, we all know that the last term is 30. So, let us identify the given. So, our first term is 1. And then, our a sub n equals 30. And then, the number of terms, we have 30 terms. Okay, and then we are going to use the formula a sub n equals to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Your n is 30 over 2. And then, a sub 1 is 1 plus 30 equals to 15. 30 divides to is 15 times 31. And then, 31 times 15, we have... 465. So, that will be the sum of the first 30 natural numbers. I will be teaching you another method that is what we call the Gaussian pattern. So, merong pattern na pwede nating sundan kapag nag tayo ng mga terms ng arithmetic sequence. Let me say 1, 2, 3, and then we have 28, 29, 30. Right? So, i-add natin lahat ng numbers ng 1, 2, 3, hanggang 30. So, ito yung tinatawag natin Gaussian pattern. We're in yung first term at yung last term i-add natin. Ang sum niya ay 31. 29 plus 2 31 28 plus 3 31 So kung ahatiin natin meron daw tayong 15 pairs na ang sum ay 31 Right? So, meron tayong 15 pairs ng sum ay 31. So, magkakamap din tayo dito sa may formula. So, we're in. Ang sagot nito ay 465. At ang tawag natin doon ay Gaussian pattern. Okay, again. So, para mas mabilis, ulitin natin. I-add daw natin yung numbers 1 to 10. Ano ang sum? 11. So, 9 plus 2, 11. 8 plus 3 is 11. So, ilang pairs ang mabubuo natin? Limang pares. Right? So, meron tayong 5 pairs na ang sum ay 11. The answer is 55. So, ang sum daw ng natural numbers from uh, 1 to 10 is 55. So, I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you on our next video lesson.